Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this carnival themed dollhouse camper. It is super cute and super labor intensive. This kit is from banggood.com. I will put the link to it down below in the description. If you haven't seen my other dollhouse video, it is a Zoom Zoom bedroom and it is super cute as well. And I will also link that kit down below in the description. This is the box. Just as a disclaimer, I did not use all of the pieces that it came with and I didn't use them in the way that it was intended. This kit comes with an absurd amount of pieces. You can see that I just keep taking bag after bag after bag after bag after bag out of the box. There are a ton of pieces. This does take a really long time to do. It does come with glue. I'm going to use my own glue. This kit also is a music box, which is really cool. There are a lot of steps to this kit and I'm not going to show all of them because this would be an hour-long video. The camper comes already put together, which is fantastic. So the first thing that I'm going to do is paint all of the blue pieces white. So all of the window frames were blue. I painted them white. You can see that the window frame doesn't fit in the hole that it's supposed to go in, and this was literally the bane of my existence because I had to sand all of the window panes down, and this took forever. I ended up kind of breaking one of them, trying to shove it in. It was not fun, and it was the worst part of doing this entire kit. But I got them to fit in there and it was okay. I did break one, but that's fine because I glued it back together. But anyways, so you put together all the window sills. This one was supposed to be inside of the window, but I, it's sitting outside of it because I couldn't get it to go in. I also glued on some little plastic sheeting to make the windows look like they had glass in them. And I also used a hot glue gun and I ended up burning myself a lot <laughs> during this process. The kit comes with wheels and you just glue those to the bottom. You get this little staircase that you put together and the box shows that you put the stairs on the front, but to me it made more sense to put them by the door, but maybe that's just me. Then you can install the music box as your floor. Then I put together all of the window sills. These came white, but I decided to paint them all pink. And then you hot glue in some flowers. Then you can put together your little chandelier and string your lights into it. Since mine is carnival themed, I used some beads that I had just to make it more bright and fun. And then I strung it up. For this kit, I decided to print my own fabric. You can buy print your own fabric on Amazon. It's the best thing ever. So these are gonna be my little curtains. They have little circus ponies on them and I just put them on wires and added some gold ribbon to make them super cute. So these are all my little curtains. And then I just added some scalloped ribbon to make it kind of look like a tent kind of thing. I think they came out really cute. This is the second light and then all the lights are run through the bottom of the kit. And this is what it looks like when they're on. Then you make a little canopy for the outdoor window and I love this. Then I'm just putting together the bed. I painted the headboard gold. Later I ended up adding a bow. And then I printed my own fabric for the bedspread, and this is actually from an Angelic Pretty line. Then you put together the sink. Again, I think the sink was supposed to fit in the hole, but it didn't really, so I just kind of glued it on anyway. Then you make a faucet using wire, and I think this came out really cute and tiny. I printed off some stripe patterns to use for the cabinet, and this is what the little stove looks like when it's done. There's like a little towel rack and an oven and the little handles. Then I'm just gonna paint this cabinet white as well to match the bottom, and this is gonna go above the oven. Then I made these seats for the seating area. Again, I printed my own fabric for this, and I think it came out really super adorable. I painted this gold as well, glued on my seats, which ended up being slightly too big, but oh well. And then this is what they look like when they're finished. I made little pillows to go with them, and I think they came out really cute. I love the gold ribbon and the little pom-pom ribbon. I just thought it was really cute. And then you put together a little table that's gonna go in between the two boots. There's a little shelf that the kit comes with, and then this little, like, baby, cradle looking box thing. Then I made a little stool. Again, I don't necessarily recommend using hot glue, but I was super impatient for normal glue, so I just opted for the hot glue. And now I'm going to glue in all of my furniture. I got these little candy pillow things from Daiso, and I think they're really, really perfect for this kit. Glue in my little sink. This is what the cabinet looks like when it's done. Adding in the little shelf. This was really hard to film because this is a really small enclosure. Then I added in my booths and the table. I made some miniature food using polymer clay. I didn't really show it, but I made a little pretzel, some popcorn, a little cotton candy, some little candy apples, but you'll see those later. I printed off some little artwork to go inside the house. The kit came with stuff to make a paper pot, but I ended up just making a pot out of polymer clay and I like it a lot better. Here are the candy apples that I made. The kit came with these little tins and they misspelled sugar, but oh well. I made this little tiny carnival <laughs> tent and I think it's super cute. The kit comes with these books that you can make, so I just kind of glued them together to put on the shelf. The kit also came with little teacups and a little tiny dog. 
I added a lot more details that I didn't film, but this is the finished product and I am so happy with how it came out. I made some little drinks with little twisty straws and the chairs with the cushions. There's some little cookies in there. And here's the popcorn and the cotton candy in a little tiny picnic basket that I made. I made some balloons using a prop from Monster High dolls actually. This is what it looks like at night when the lights are turned on. I just think it's so magical. And then this is what the music box sounds like. Again, the link to this kit is down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.